Hey everyone, I'm Tommy Dasilo. Welcome to Landline, the show where I call up my friends and I chat to them and I doodle on my iPad on screen share while we talk. Today I'm going to be calling up Angus Truscott. Uh, I've been friends with Angus for nearly a decade now. He is the host of an excellent pop culture podcast called Hey Fam. He's the social media guy for Triple J and he's the admin of Pluck a Duck Memes on Facebook. So let's get Angus on the line and let's see what kind of doodles I come up with while I'm talking to him. This show is meant to be a catch up with people over the phone, um, but this is a first for you and me. We never talk yeah. over the phone. I had a story to tell you that I couldn't be bothered typing out and and it took, and it, that's, that's right. right. I had to like message yeah. you a dozen times to be like, yeah. I, this wasn't I a blood dial. Yeah. I, I truly, I need you to, and even then, even with That's all right. that backstory, you were like, I'm not doing it. You just refused to get on the phone with me. And then once you had my keys while you were in a live studio recording a live TV show and That's I couldn't right. get through to you, remember that That's... there was that one as well. So we've both, yep. we've both exhausted, we're even, we've both like exhausted our one phone call to each other and the other is never answered. Our friendship is like 90% online chat and then like 10% real life yeah. interaction and then no room for phone two or three times there. a year so this isn't a, a, a an mj tribute this is actually medicinal this is not a this is not some like arm and hotep uh, just getting on my mummy shit this yeah. is um this is a burn this is a second degree burn uh if you may recall uh home alone uh by chris columbus you might remember a scene where the uh the robber i think it's harry played by joe pesci harry or Mark, i think that one's harry uh, goes to grab the McAllister's front door and there's been a, a electric heater on the other side which has burnt his hand. A similar thing happened to me except involving a frying pan um, and salmon uh, okay, in the house. That right. wasn't empty. Other than that, it was exactly the same. Let's get down to drawing. Let's do it. Great. Do I need to give you a word or you're just doing it? I love that. I'm just doing it. I was going to ask you for a picture and then I thought I'd kind of... Um... I'd kind of use your cat as the as the basis. Oh yeah, you for some inspiration. The your source cat of your that agitation. I'm deathly allergic to. Were you you were, were you a big phone kid as a teen before like chatting and before mobile phones? Like were you a guy that called people? Um yeah, I mean that's kind of the basis of this. I would sit on the landline phone in my parents' um, mm. spare room. And I would kind of have the phone cradled on one side and then I would just kind of sit there with yeah. this, like old chair that I would just like draw on the arm of with pen. And then dad would go and like get it repainted thinking like, well, you know, I've destroyed his like <laughs> months of hard work. And I would just be like, nah, dude, fresh canvas. I get to start all over again on this long term project. This was a crazy burn, right? But I was so interested in eating what I'd made that I sat down and ate it one-handed with my hand in a bowl of ice before calling an ambulance. I would yep. go to friends' houses, this is so pathetic, and like prank call my own parents, which is, <laughs> cause this is the only number I knew. When they when they handed me the phone, I didn't know what to do. So I'd yeah. call my own parents and saying that, it, 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 that, that's so pathetic. And I think I saw it on a TV show where yeah. maybe it was like a, crime crime investigation show and i remember i called like my parents once and i think it was like yeah like a crime show and there might have been the line like oh i i answered the phone call and it was just heavy breathing so i did that once and then i went home yeah. and my like, parents were mortified and then i later like learned that when someone's heavily breathing on the other end of the phone it usually means they're masturbating and like right. i'd just been heavily breathing on the end of the <laughs> phone while my mother was on the other end to your and mom just feeling absolutely <laughs> I just thought it was like to scare her, like like Mike Myers from Halloween yeah. or something. I didn't realize there was like a sexual nature to it because I was like eleven. Innocent. Um, and yeah, I remember, I remember just thinking, yeah, maybe I should stop. Maybe I should expand my horizons and get like a phone book. So I ended up working. I worked at a video store. Um, that was like mm -hmm. my teenage job when I was like fifteen or however old you are. But before that, I used to call people pretending I was from a video store. The one I ended up working at, funnily enough, I'd get the phone book and like search by suburb and be like, okay, that fits in the radius of this video store. Mm -hmm. And then I'd call up and I'd sit near a computer and pretend to type off and be like, hi, is this, uh, you know, is this Mrs. Smith? And I knew it was because I called and I'd be like, yeah. And I'd be like, yeah, this is like Joseph from 
uh, the video store. You just have some late movies out. I just need to tell you. And they're like, oh, what? And then I would have like just a list of like heinously titled porn films and just, <laughs> and just rattle them off. And just, I don't know what I wanted the end game to be. Like if they wanted to get their kid in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. They like, yeah. And it was just, it was just not good. And then I'm look, and then I ended up like working there two years later and had like, you know, imposter syndrome because I was like, well, I'm here now. And I, and then I think one day I had to call somebody and literally say, hey, you have like backdoor bandits fired out still. You need to bring that back because it was like an extensive adult section. Did you ever, um, did you ever do that when you were younger? Like the the video store having pornos there and thinking that it would be as easy as just like turning up there getting an adult film and just taking it to the counter and like maybe maybe you'd just get lucky yeah. and the person serving you just like and then what are you going to do yeah was it more the act of wanting to rent it or like or was the end goal watching it or was it just the thrill of you know of, of, of the successful raw what was more attractive oh, the end to result you? was definitely seeing the the pornos but like i even remember being like going on to like a paid website and putting in, you know, you had to put in, you, back in the yeah. day, you had to put in credit card details and stuff. I remember like a few times just going on to one of them and just typing just a series of random numbers and a random pin number and just thinking, well, it, who, essentially. Who, who knows? Who knows? It's a, <laughs> yeah. it's a, it's and? one in a million, but there's still a chance. And just thinking like how good that feeling would be if, you know, if, if I hit that and it like takes me to porno and I've just fluked my way into this paid website, just how amazing that feeling would have been. Here's a great flip on that. I had to call up my maths teacher who was famously buying pot from students at my high school and he yeah. had like a laundry list of porno. This is true, he had a laundry list of pornos out and I had to call him and say like, you've got these. And he was just stoned out of his mind. It would have been like 11 a.m. on a Saturday. And wow. Yeah, and then I, had to, then I had to see him at school. And then that year he gave me an award and I was like, famously terrible at maths but he gave me like he gave me like the i, I got an award for like stu like his student of the year or something and i think it was silence money now that right, i look so back on it because i didn't break it i didn't tell anybody i knew yeah, that yeah. i was in like a position of power there was one where yeah this is this is classic internet like 98 99 soundboards mm -hmm. remember like oh, soundboards hell yeah. were very very yeah they were very cool and i remember inside my own house i think it was like the family do was on and like calling the home phone remember you could dial a number and hang up and it would it would call your home phone back i remember doing that and then having like an arnold schwarzenegger soundboard on the other end and like so speaking classic. to a, a heavily sourced yeah and it was probably like christmas or something so like whichever adult answered it was severely sourced and yeah just just thinking i was like the bee's knees by saying like by like hitting a button that would quote lines from kinder kindergarten cop and yeah yeah commando and thinking that was like well now we've peaked i kind of wanted to do it and i remember doing it once with my cousin and like i had had the idea like hey let's let's do prank calls and so everyone that we were sitting in a the rumpus room with was just kind of like okay great this guy's had this cool idea let's go do prank calls and so we you know we go to the phone in the spare room and then it kind of falls on me to set it up yeah. because you know it was like yeah. my idea and just immediately being so overwhelmed and not knowing what to do so like the move that i would always try and do was just i would just dial like a complete random number like i wouldn't I wouldn't look up a name in the phone book. I wouldn't, you know, go after someone that I knew in any capacity. I'd no. just go like, you know, nine, eight, seven. You wouldn't call your parents like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just whoever I could get through to. And um, I remember like one time getting through and the person answering and me going, hi, I'm a scientist. And then going, yeah. okay. <laughs> And then me having not thought through it <laughs> after that um, and just being like, yeah, I'm in the lab. And they're like, all right. Cool. Yeah. Now, now speaking about it, I think I was subjected to more prank calls than like an average person because both of my parents were teachers. Oh, of course. Yeah, so of I course. think 
as someone who answered the phone, there was three of us, you know, success rate, 33.3% or whatever of the prank mm -hmm. calls were going to me. I think I, I skilled up that way. So that's maybe not only was it like a culmination of American media, but it was also being subjected to prank calls. You know, like, and then I too became the, it's like all terrible cyclical, you know, stories. Yeah. I too started pranking people and it's yeah. horrible. I kind of wish I didn't, but in a way I kind of didn't have a choice. And you know what? Caller ID really fucked that one up for everyone. That that just kind totally. of- Totally. As soon as that came out and became like a mainstream thing. So, hey, I filled up the page. I've got a- uh, This is great. Your, I've got your cat. Um, we got mm. your burnt hand. We got your luxurious yeah. salmon. We've got this this yeah. guy down the bottom left, uh, bottom right, sorry, he's kind of your maths teacher giving you an award. Um, it's not too far off from how he looked, yeah. Really? Yeah, he, he had red hair, so if that had red hair, it wouldn't be too okay. far off. And uh, he okay. loved bike riding. Bike riding, uh, the, the gateway uh, to, to marijuana, I've always thought. <laughs> Uh, got a little Arnie up here in the top right, and uh, then a yep. little scientific sample, an evil little scientific sample over there. I in love the, uh, that. I didn't know what that was out. at first. I was like, is that an iPod classic? I thought you were doing an iPod <laughs> classic when I saw the circle in the middle. Well, uh, hey, thanks for chatting. Thanks for being on the show. And uh, everyone yeah, should great. check out Hey Fam, <laughs> your podcast with our friend Levens, where oh, you guys yeah. talk about pop culture and stuff and uh, get onto moods and get a hat and a t-shirt. All right, Angus, well, thanks for being on the show. It was nice to talk to you for the first time and uh, yeah, on the phone and I'm, I'll see you next time. I haven't seen you since uh, January, you know, it was nice. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, buddy.